in the book of Joshua. I know that we want to to sing a lot. It's great to be in the presence of the Lord. Lord Jesus, we have the privilege to be here. Joshua 13, verse, verse, the first verse. We are going to read it all together. Joshua 13, one says the following. Amen. Is, is there? Let us read. Now Joshua was old, advancing the years. And the Lord said to him, You're old, advancing years, and there remains very much land yet to be possessed. Amen. Now Joshua was old, advancing years, and the Lord said to him, You're old, advancing years, and there remains very much land yet to be possessed. My brethren, we know very well the story of Moses, the story of Joshua. When Moses, after Moses departed to the Lord, there remained that that doubt. How would the people be right now in the Lord? He gave the means to Joshua. Even Joshua, he was um, anxious, and the Lord rewards strong words. With wise words, God gave Joshua the assurance that Josh, Joshua was not going to be left alone and that Joshua would have all the assistance, uh, the support from the part of the Lord. And that's how God did. And that's how it happened. Joshua led by the Lord, he guided the people to enter into Cana. There were many battles, a lot of many struggles, but all of them the Lord maintained His word, the Lord maintained His promise, and the prophecy was fulfilled. The text that we just read here, when Joshua was, when he, he took power, he was a young man. Now, Joshua was an elder. The Lord himself spoke to him, you're old, right, Joshua? A person, he thought that his um, term was already over. He thought that he had already done everything. But there are there is still lots of land to possess. My brethren, this text speaks exactly about our lives today as the Church of the Lord. A year of 2017 has come to an end. A year of trials, but a year also of many conquests. A year of many victories. The Lord preserved all of our brethren. The Lord has been present here throughout the entire year of 2017. And this is reason for us to praise the name of the Lord. And we now have the entire year ahead of us, 2018. Who would have thought that the year 2017 was already uh, already a great year we have now a new year ahead of us we're going to have trials we're going to we're going to have barriers ahead of us but we already have the word of the lord we already have the direction from the lord and we know that for our victory 
For our victory, we need to preserve what? We need to preserve His Word. We need to preserve His doctrine, which is one of the doctrines is the ple pleading for the power of the blood of Jesus. The power that is in the blood of Jesus is a worth. Giving worth to what Jesus did for us, which is a project of God for the church. So in this year, for in order for us to be victorious, you need to live uh, under the word and the blood. Because this is the secret of the faithful. And the faithful for those that are listening to the Lord it was a secret for Joshua to base himself on the word of the Lord but there is still a lot of land to possess a lot of land to possess it's interesting when Joshua went to spy the land he Caleb and other eight they went there and the land was it empty well, that's was that how it happened the land was already at their disposal how was the environment when they arrived there the land was already possessed there were already inhabitants to the land there were there the Amalekites the Jebusites the, the Amorites the Canaanite, Canaanites they were all living on the land which was not their land but it was the land of the people of the Lord by faith by the promise they didn't arrive there and found everything there built and ready no they had to fight for the land and the Lord was with them my brethren there, there is a lot of land to build there is a lot of land to possess here as well amongst us there are many Amalekites too many I would say Amalekites are those that are that want uh, our evil they, they want our destruction they want to steal our blessing they want to take us away from the church they want us to live the presence of the Lord Jebusies, Canaanites those are people that those are people that don't have any intimacy with the Lord in the way we have but even so we have to preach the gospel to them even so we have to go to them and deliver what once what God once gave us which is salvation in Jesus was the word of the promise it was the right of man of being eternal we want to possess we need to conquer and that's why the Lord has given us all the means he, he needs to give the courage and experience because the more experience we have in the Lord the more we're going to testify of the great power of God the land was good He produced honey and milk, clusters of grapes, everything that was sown, produced well, good land for, for, for farming. But there were enemies there. And the people, the po there was a courageous people. There was courageous people. But, but there were also the, the ones who were tired even with the word of the Lord at hand, even with the promise of the Lord, there were those that were uh, courageous, but they were tired. And the, the valiant ones, when they get tired, the Lord take care of them. And we once, um, one day we'll, we will get tired. Maybe you are living this moment in your life. You may be valiant because you have the word of the Lord in your life we may be valiant because you won once you overcame the world you're courageous because one day we were taken away from the world we rejected the world we accepted Jesus in your heart you were courageous because 
you had to face once your your friends, your family, there were uh, hindrances in your life. You are valent, but you also have the right to be tired. But you need to know this moment and ask help from the Lord. You need to say, Lord, I need help. Lord, lay your hands upon me. Do not look to my weaknesses or because you are, I'm so shy at oh, the moment that I'm leaving, but look at this sincerity in my heart. A few um, faltered, a few were afraid. They may have said, oh, we, don't, we cannot go there. The land is already possessed. The land is good, but we cannot go there. But the Lord gave them the means to enter into the land, to, prom to possess the promised land. And my brethren, if, if you are leaving this moment, you need to ask the Lord a great blessing and that the, in this morning, this supper of the Lord may, may serve for this purpose. And when we uh, take part in the supper, you may ask the Lord, Lord, I want this morning be spiritual health. I want to receive deliverance. I want you to give strength to me that you prepare me to build once again my life in your altar and that I may possess, um, that I may be used by you, Lord. The courageous also cry. The courageous also have their struggles. And we believe by faith that this church filled with valiant people by faith we know that there are a couple of brethren that are living this moment crying discouraged feeling like they have been forsaken abandoned but look this place we are a family and here we have a home that the home the Lord has given us, this home, is to be a nest of love. It's, it's, it's not time for us to di get discouraged and look behind and to look to our trials. We don't no longer have time to waste. Joshua was already old, thinking that he had already done enough. Lord, waiting, maybe waiting for his death and somebody to su succeed him. God told him, Joshua, you think you're old, you think you have done enough, but there are still many land to possess. I read, may this word serve to us as an encouragement from the part of the Lord, not from the part of man, because we are also weak, not from the part of institution Maranatha, no, but from the part of the Lord. What thankful to the Lord because we have we have loved the Lord we in the same as David we love the Lord and the gratitude to the Lord for the deeds of the Lord in the same way as David said I love the Lord those are strong words because those are words that didn't come out from the mouth of David. They came out of the heart of David. I love the Lord. This is gratitude. This is being you being thankful to the Lord. This is you being wanting to be before the presence of the Lord. You being here, even weak, being courageous because one day God loved you. It was not the pastor that went there and took away from the Lord it was not the pastor that cured us it was the Holy it was Jesus it was the Holy Spirit that took you away from the, the the mud of sin maybe even from sickness when without destiny and or assurance to to life Jesus went there and was able to reach you love the Lord fight for this love don't allow the tiredness of this life to be um, defeat you. Ju you just need to take a step. And you see that God will be there, has always been there, holding your hand. 
and the faithful as well, he will inherit the land. Because the faithful doesn't look to anywhere besides the Lord. The ones that uh, inherited the land were, were the valiant, the thankful, the faithful, the ones that wanted the blessing from God. And by faith we all one day possess the land that was given to us as a right from Je through Jesus. The service we have had here, this the uh, amazing service, uh, the the weddings where the Lord is present, the meetings, home visits, early dawns, uh, cleaning up the house of the Lord. This is all a sample of what we are going to have in heaven. If you are sometimes thinking, oh boy, how much better, how good the services are. If you're seeing this, imagine how is it going to be in heaven? Because what we see here is just a sample. What Caleb and Joshua and others saw, the land that flows honey and milk, uh, gigantic uh, clusters of grapes, it was just a demonstration of what they were going to have forever. And what we want here is this. What we have here is this. It's just a sample of what God has prepared for us, not only you, individually, because God has pleasure in saving your entire family. It's pleasing, the family is pleasing to God. Uh, God even gave a, uh, gave a spiritual gift. I want Marcus to speak about this spiritual gift. Well, as we were praying for this, for the service, God gave uh, an interesting gift. The Lord has shown that. And uh, at a moment in the service, the majority of us were with our, our, our eyes closed. And I saw that entered uh, a blue ribbon, a large, a gigantic blue ribbon. And it began to uh, go around uh, uh, amongst us. It's like if it was looking for the members of the families. He was thinking the father of the family and would bring and then go to, uh, towards the wife and bring it closer and the children and even some that in their mind thought I don't want I don't love anymore I don't want anymore the ribbon make this movement when the person realized it was already beside the husband wife the brother and sister and that ribbon would surround them without squeezing them but bring them together and that then at that moment they felt love for their relative and then the ribbon would go around another family and did the same. So we were all surrounded by the ribbon. And at the end, the ribbon surrounded the entire family in a supernatural way. And we felt love for the Lord and for one another. My brethren, we saw also through this gift uh, what the Lord has for us. We want to um, know what is going to happen in Pompano here, the gift was this, where as we were praying, the Lord gave this spiritual gift. Maybe you're living a moment in the blessing, a moment in heaven. You're living a very good, a very good life spiritually, but spending the services. But maybe your family is all the way back, or maybe you are very involved with your work with other activity activities and maybe other friendships and look look at the spiritual gift that the lord has given surround your family fight for a family fight for a family because the world the enemy will try to steal and you need to fight for a family do not allow the things of the world, the involvement with the things of the world, material life, friendship, tiredness. Don't allow, don't allow this to take away from you what, what God one day gave to you, what God one day united. I spoke with the uh, ushers and deacons this morning. We need to be the heads of our homes. The men that are here, the brethren, Take possession of what God one day gave you. The direction, the leadership of your home. 
to be a leader is not to give orders or, or to demand. No, being a leader, a good leader, give good example. The good leader, the good head of a home, biblically speaking, he leaves the word of the Lord in the first place above all things. Be what God one day um, um, uh, once told you to be in every aspect of life, not only in spiritual side, but most importantly in the spiritual side. Bring your family to pray, give examples, biblical examples. I don't speak a lot about the women because I've, uh, and a bit it's going to get complicated. But in the same way, the the women have to be submissive, be help, be helpers. The Bible said the wise woman edifies her home. Wisdom comes from home, comes come from the Holy Spirit, who is the architect. We spoke about it last Friday. We need to have this in our homes, this gift. This ribbon speaks of the love of God. We need to be united serving the Lord. We need to be together serving the Lord. If you are all the way in the front or you are behind, stop a little bit or accelerate, but firm in the Lord and uh, reach to those that are behind, those that are tired, those that are discouraged, there are valiants. The Lord has given given us uh, courageous servants, but we all have the right to be tired. That's why the Lord gave us this gift, so that we may be here as a family. Firstly, we need to have a family, because the Lord is already in the family, because God is part of the family. The Bible says that the uh, string of three folds never breaks and the matrimony there is already the Lord the family is priority and then comes the activities of the church uh, I'm first the Lord is above all I'm saying the family because the Lord is already in the family and then the activities the commitment with the Lord and, and in the church this is very important because this family here and the church which is the church our family our own family is, is an extension of this family. My brother, we need to give worth to this because this year, 2018, we hope that it's going to be a different year, that we may not get tired, that we may not feel discouraged, getting old, because we are not old. In Jesus, we are new creatures. In Jesus, we are like children. We can never allow the world to deceive us and surround us but we need to be victorious in it and i hope that this message this morning this gift from the lord may serve to us as a direction that we may stop and think lord how my life is how is my family in the lord how am i loving my family how am i as a father how am i being as a father or, or husband wife as a son or daughter analyze your life and ask the Lord for blessing because what God has for your family for your home is this involvement in Jesus the Lord wants to surround us the Lord wants us to live in the plenitude of salvation in Jesus uh, my desire is this word may be for us a blessing and that you carry this with you and that this year of 2018 may be a great victory for each one of us. Not only for one in the family, or only for one representative family, but your family may have victories in Jesus. And that every com component of a family, uh, glory to God. Let us sing a song.
Amen. Glory to Jesus. I invite the deaconess to be here in front of me, with me. Oh, Brother Naclato. Okay, please. We're going to have the prayers. Brother Naclato can pray. Lord, we want to pray for the, for the part of the Lord Jesus as we present in your presence. I said this. And doing this um, support the Lord who may visit our hearts. Bless this bread so that in, in everything in your name and this one, Amen. everything may be glorified in the name of Jesus. Lord, Father, we praise you for this moment of celebration in your presence. And now we present this. This represent this one that represent. The blood of Jesus it was shed in order to give fellowship, deliverance, eternal life. Lord, as we take possession of it, that we may feel the renewal and the joy and the hope in eternal life. Lord, we ask that we may be strengthened in your presence. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the word said in Corinthians, because I received the Lord, what, what, what also I taught you, because that Jesus in the night was was betrayed, having given blessing for the bread, he said, "Take and and drink. And this is and eat. This is my body that was broken for you. Do this in memory of me." And in the same way, after uh, eating the bread, he took the cup and said, "This is the New Testament of my blood. Do this every time you drink in, mem in memory in my memory." Because every time you eat of this bread and drinks, drink of this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until I come. Because whoever drink this, eat, eat this bread and drink of this cup in an earned with way will be guilty. So examine man himself and then eat of this bread and drink of this cup. Amen. This is a moment in which you will be placing your life in God's altar. If there is still something that you need to um, get right with the Lord, you need to do so. You don't need just uh, to abstain from participating in this moment. If you have already baptized in the waters, if you are in fellowship with the Lord, whatever you are, if, if you are a guest here, you, the Lord is inviting you to participate in the supper. Amen? Amen. We're now going to um, distribute the elements. Two and two, right?
ele não foi servido. Então, aliás, o pessoal vai te sinalizar. Tá? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Has anyone else not received the elements? <coughs> Amen. Examine man himself. So now place your life in the altar of the Lord. making yourself right with the Lord. Let's be there with the Lord.
or to Jesus. Let us stand up, my brethren. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. Pray, glorify the name of the Lord. Raise your voice. Exalt the name of the Lord. Because He's here in this place. He knows us. He knows you and he, wa he wants to extend his hand towards you to give you the renewal and strengthening bring you a new encouragement glory to Jesus Thus said the, your God, my peace be with you, my children. Today, I claimed you here to have this supper with you. But soon, very soon, I will bring you to ha have a supper with me in the glory. And this morning, my word for you is that you do not get discouraged and do not be afraid because I have sustained you this morning I'm giving you spiritual health I'm closing the wounds I'm pouring out of my my balm and take possession of victory this morning my children because my spirit is walking amongst you curing, delivering and changing your robes of sadness by with robes of glory so open up your lips and glorify my name it's a great celebration a great banquet was prepared for you this morning my servant my daughter you who are crying I transform your tears into tears of hope because your trial soon will finish and you take possession of victory completely your home is under my eyes and my eyes are eyes of love my daughter I take care of each everyone that I have given you so that they may be in, your, in my presence so that you may say soon my house and myself serve the Lord knowing yourself the salvation of your entire home so that completely you may serve me my servant you may you who are think, thinking today there's no hope for me there's no opportunity for me I tell you that you are being chosen and generated for the praises of my name so I reproach this thought from your mind and give a new mind a mind of Christ in order to serve me independent of the circumstances and for as long as you're serving me in this way for your faithfulness in the little I will place you on a lot more and my youth this morning I gave a special word for you love the Lord above all things do not allow the world to attract you and also the teenagers I don't want you to don't want to uh, look like the ones that are, that are on the world but try to uh, look like the ones that are in my word and I use you with might in my work rejoice my church receive my spirit receive the strengthening Re receive the revival that I have been pouring out upon you many entered here discouraged tired and who live this place with a raised head knowing that only God is only the Lord is God glory to Jesus blessed be the name of the Lord let us all participate together first the bread and then of the wine to Jesus hallelujah holy holy is the name of the Lord amen hallelujah 
Oh, through Jesus. Holy, holy is the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. What thankful to you, Lord. Glory to God. Amen. The brother can now sit down. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, you can.
Lord to Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us stand up. We're going to have a word of adoration to the Lord. I want to praise your name, Lord. Because it's wonderful, Lord, to participate on this spiritual celebration in your house, Lord. We thank you, Lord, but once once again, have given us this opportunity, Lord, to participate on this wonderful banquet, Lord. We praise the Lord because our greatest victory, Lord, is to be in your presence, Lord. Our greatest victory, Lord, is to be here, Lord, participating on this wonderful blessing, Lord, which is to surrender to you all our gratitude to your author because Lord we don't have wo enough words to thank you Lord for your great love towards us toward all our lives but it is with our hearts filled with joy and gratitude that we want to thank you for everything Lord that you have made have done in our midst and for everything that I have done throughout the the past year with my our family members because of your presence in in us which is a miracle lord we thank you because there's no other better place than to be here in your presence lord you when we ask you lord never remove from us your good holy spirit lord because we want lord to serve you we want one day to be in eternity with you lord Lord, receive our gratitude for everything that you have done in our midst, Lord. I pray to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord to Jesus. Lord to God. The wonderful grace of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolations and the gifts of the Holy Spirit be poured out upon us now and forevermore amen amen the church may be seated the lord has given a revelation the two sisters and a brother have received a cure this morning the lord has not revealed what was the infirmity but now by faith you take possession of this blessing of this revelation of the lord amen or to God. I would like to have a, a quick meeting with the adolescents, the parents, and all the youth of the church. Amen. And I uh, wish the peace of the Lord to everyone.